with the whole team, though. Okay, where was this defense last week? All right, everybody. Like they want to show we we balling now. Oh, the Eagles defense is all over the place. Where was they at in the games we could have won? All right, let's get this thing started. Let me welcome everyone to the Uncensored Philly Sports Podcast. We're going to be live. real uncensored tonight. Right now, we on we on Facebook. <laughs> we're going to be real uncensored tonight. <laughs> the, bleep button. the game is still Put on, the by the way. Kids to bed. It doesn't the game matter. Bed. The game, the game is still on. I've been playing it's still it's time to just go I've been on and go live. For the last half hour. I it's a minute and five there. seconds left. So let's it's let's the- talk about it. I mean, where you, where do we begin? Where do you begin? It, the team offense, is trash. Offense started. Right. I will trash. say I'm gonna start with the defense, and I'm gonna no, say no, that they play well. Let me start. I'm gonna start with the defense. The defense that first couple of series because they was very undisciplined. They got some rough in the past. They got some unsportsmanlike penalties and everything. They played undisciplined, they, but yeah, so though. they gave a touchdown up, right? But they when the first two possessions they held them they held them to a fourth fourth stopped them on fourth down they did some good things and that's all i got go ahead let's rip them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, honestly hey, listen i have nothing bad to say about the defense i have nothing bad to say about even though slay got cooked he did what he had he did they, no, he, you know. he played against listen metcalf is metcalf that's like asking somebody to stop randy when he was a young phenom in the league like so y'all saying swartz had a good game yeah, I think sports had a very good game. I think sports had a good yeah, game. Good I think game. He had a good defense, game plan. I think the yeah, defense, even even on that deep touch, not the touchdown, but the deep one he caught on Slay, that was actually Jalen Mills' fault. He should have got back. He bit. He didn't get back on time, but he's supposed to have help over the top, deep safety. But listen, the defense that's... played well. Uh, Barnett he played good. Oh, he played I, well. Our corners played good. Singleton has been a standout week to week. Um. I mean, the defense played overall solid. Even I, I even seen uh, what's his name, Riley Tips with the what's the with dude name uh, Riley Duke Cooper. Riley. No, Duke Riley. New, Duke, Duke Riley. Riley. Duke Riley, <laughs> the, the middle tips. linebacker Edwards. I mean, they was making plays. I was very satisfied. The defense. Wentz. <sighs> Wentz done, man. I, I I'm at the realization now. Truth be told, the the bull done. Like I, I we oh, they we, just thought they just caught a. Uh, uh, it doesn't Hell matter. It don't matter. It. it don't matter. It helped Wentz, help Wentz touchdown interception. Ratio. It don't matter. Like for, for me, the whole thing is you rushed us to come on here to go on air. Now you exactly now you look at the drone. Shut up, and everybody know who's on the line. Let y'all know what happened. <laughs> Wentz threw a TD and he st- listen. It, it I don't blame matter. The offense started off too slow. <laughs> look, the fact of the matter is, not only is Wentz not playing bad, the team is out of sync. Like you could clearly see plays. Like if y'all remember earlier, it was the one play with Rodgers where it, it, it's one of them option routes where you kind of could choose, the receiver could choose where you want to go and he gets to the open spot. Rodgers actually chose the right way. He he ran away from the defense and went through it into the defense. I'm like, all right, what's up with that? Then several drives later, the same type of play with Goddard. Goddard chose wrong. And Wentz chose right and threw the interception, if y'all remember. Because if Goddard would have broke Wentz out, chose wrong because no, he shouldn't no, no, even no. threw the Goddard. Not finish. Goddard he played shouldn't even been... threw the Goddard at all on that play. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. If y'all ain't going to let me talk, go ahead. Read. If you ain't going to let me talk, go ahead. My, wait, my wait, thing, just 10 minutes in. The, the bottom line was it wasn't necessarily a bad read if Goddard chose right because it would have been a first down. Goddard was past the first. The dude couldn't have ran through Goddard. The, dude, the safety who caught the pick was five yards into the end zone. It would have been an easy completion if Goddard would have cut to the outside away from the defense. Goddard actually cut into the defense. Wentz made the right read, but it was out of sync. But this is what I'm saying. Like, not only is the team, it's not only is Wentz playing bad, the team is out of sync and, and it's getting irritated. I agree. And and, and this this, even, to, your, to your point, Ephraim, and I and I, I agree, to, he – he does not trust these receivers, this receiver core. And and a lot of it is on him. Like I said, from the beginning, I've been ripping Wentz all season at times when I thought that he played bad. When I thought he wasn't as bad, he was bad tonight. He was bad tonight. And I, I, I'm ready to say, you know what? Put Jalen Hurts in, trade Wentz to the Colts, let him go over there to Frank Wright and bring Jalen Hurts in and let's see what he do with this trash that Howie and Doug got out here. Because why did not Howie, why did Doug not keep Hurts in the game? He threw one completion. See where they go. He ain't he ain't get my throw Winston. Doug is an idiot. I don't care what nobody. I agree. Is. He is, Doug is an idiot. Doug is it. Let's. I, I said this and I we we be texting during the game. I told y'all in the beginning of the game, 
Wentz does not know what he's seeing out there on that field. He's not. He's confused. You see him making bad reads. Even on the pass when Ephraim said he, he the pass to God or God made a bad read. It should have went to Rodgers. Rodgers was wide open, cutting across the middle. Why force it to God? You had somebody. If we get this onside kick, um, I, I, I don't, I don't get this dude, man. This dude, he, he, he's, he's totally burnt out. I've been fighting for Wentz. I've been fighting for Wentz. Yes, you have. He, he, he from said the best. He's been playing worse and worse. Maybe Wayne said that from week I to said, week. No, 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 no. I said he from worse said. and worse <laughs> every week. It's yes. unbelievable. But I think it's. A, what I, they? I think it's an organizational thing. This is the whole point that I'm, I've been trying. I don't to even know if it's organizational because I, I, you oh, I know it's organizational. Because let me get five, five, I, because, five minutes. Because you, I, I didn't uh, get five minutes. Because I see oh, DK Metcalf mossing these dudes and doing all this stuff. But then I see oh, Alshon yes, Jeffries. I see Alshon Jeffries reaching up. That, that's, uh, uh, the draft is organizational, yes. But okay. still, that and being the coach, said. And the coach, too. And it's the hold coach on, that too. being said. It was still plays to make on the field that Wentz didn't make. I agree. I've been saying Even that. Out, remember, he could have had six to Alshon. He could have had six to Goddard. You got to make six this. to Alshon? Oh, 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 what six to Alshon you talking about? Well, Al- on, Alshon on, on, on the play. I know what Ethan's talking about. On the sideline, he didn't throw it to him. Alshon he had threw he, a dump he, off. He, he threw a dump off. He must have walked away that play. Because this, because this is what I don't want to hear. That's like the dude was saying, oh, he got to put that right on Alshon. Okay, so then you put it on Alshon and the dude break it up from him. So then when you lead Alshon, it's too far. He can't reach it. I'm tired of hearing that with these no, receivers. Listen, I, listen, now, and, and I'm not excusing Wentz because Wentz is playing You making excuses right for Wentz. He he is, I am not trash. excusing. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. But everybody's I'm, talking I'm not, like I was the Wentz apologist. Me, not you. All three of you. Everybody's talking All three. like Wentz is the be-all, end-all, and cause us to lose. It is an organizational thing. Uh, the, listen, organization, the, orga- the team stinks. The organization is for players. Yes. The team I stinks. give you that. The team but it's stinks. still, uh, it still plays to be made, and Wentz is not making them. That ain't That's gonna make the difference in them winning a championship. No, I'm, though. I'm, t- I'm the telling team y'all, stinks. I'm, I'm telling y'all, Ethan, I agree with Ethan. It's plays to be made. Like the team, I, I've it, been it, saying that. It, it is, it is, it is a little bit of both to me. But if you had to put more blame on who, I'm putting more blame on Wentz because these dudes ain't winning every battle. But when they are winning. You not do you not getting it there. Nobody you, wins every battle. That's are, why they pay other players. So uh, Winston, no, make, but Winston make all the right plays at all the right time. All, no, 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 no. Let, let, let me let me let me let me address that. I, I I'm not saying Winston should make every play, but the majority of plays that need to be email. made, he's not making. He's just I not agree. like you 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 been in this offense, and and I and I agree with Reggie on this when he says, and I uh, I hate to give Reggie crap props because you always try to come back and throw it in my face. Anyway. <laughs> He's right when he said you've been in this offense for four or five years. You should have a mastery of this offense. You should have a a, a good deal of mastery and is command of your same? ball. Of is your the ball. offense the same? No, yes. no, no. I'm, I mean, I mean I'm, 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 I'm sorry. The philo- I'm sure the philosophy ain't changed much. I mean, it may have. I don't know, but at the same time, my thing is, you should have command at least of your ball. The ball is throwing short. He throwing far. He th- it's all over the place. Like dog, you are a professional five years deep. You should be lighting it up. Your passes, the majority of your pass should be on target. I don't care who you playing with. Yeah. Like this is this is my thing that that this get frustrating me with Wentz. I see Goddard running deep. Two times he blew it. Two yep. times Wentz blew Goddard wide open. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. Here, I want him traded. I want him traded. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you another reason why. I think I, I think Wentz, ain't, Wentz is not as smart as we give him credit for. Well, I never gave Exem- him credit for being smart. Yeah. For the record. Example: second and twenty, right? Second and twenty. You have the dump off for Boston Scott. Any other quarterback would have threw the dump off. You get 10, 11, 12 yards there. Yep. And you play for third and eight, third and nine. What does he do? He runs around. He scrambles in the back. Then he tries to give it to Boston Scott short. Then he throws it to Boston Scott on third and 20 and gets no yard. Like, wait, his eye, his football IQ, I'm telling you, I'm questioning it right now. I'm really questioning his football IQ, man. Like uh, look at the worse. play. I think, at- I think the pressure is getting to him. I, and I agree I with you. I think, it's, I, I think it's getting worse and worse. And I think everybody, he has everybody analyzed. You, and you know what's irritating? You know what's kind of irritating? Like, it's funny, sad. When this dude is in his fifth year 
and you got all the announcers breaking down every single play where he did right, where he did wrong. It's like, yo, you should be past that. Like, come on, you got these boys talking about you like you was like you a rookie, like you a second year quarterback. Yep. They breaking your game down like, oh, he had this boy here, he ain't seeing this boy. It's like, yo, is you sit like, come on, man. So I think the pressure and the, and the scrutiny and all that, I think it's getting to him, and he's starting to. Yeah, no, I the actually worst, wait, it be all hey, reality. Hey, y'all went about four times. Let me get in at least once. No, you don't, don't really need that. to talk. Well, you know. let, I'm, I'm not gloating or anything or saying I told you so. Or yes, you are. I'm not going to say I told but all three of y'all so you told so four, about like eight games ago. I won't even say that. I'm not even going to get to that level. What I will say is that y'all can't, you, we saw another quarterback out there who has a bad offensive line as well. Very bad offensive line. We was on his back all game long. And what his receivers look like. But he still made da, 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 da. What he made plays like? for his team. What did he put the ball like? where they supposed to be put? He put the ball in place. He put the ball in the money. I, I got to say, he put the ball in the money. I mean, he put this, the ball. This, this is this. Go, I'm sorry, Tim. Was you done? No, one more point. They came in to this game, the Seattle Seahawks, 30 second. That's all I was going to say. 30 second. <laughs> There's only 32 teams in the NFL, and they did last <laughs> in passing. passing. Yeah. Yep, so I you agree. can't tell me that it was just the receiver's fault on our team. You can't just tell me it was Who said all. it was just the receiver's fault, though? My point you is, did. Not, you no, just I didn't. No, no I didn't. I, it was you. I ain't no. say that. Wayne, Wayne, you ain't say Wayne, that. Thank you. you. I, I, you I, I've been saying you from the jump, it. it ain't him. You sure enough implied it. I've been saying that everything is not him. These no, receivers I, stink. No, we and it's him the, too. It, it they, is. I, him I don't too. think they stink. Listen, they, they stink, stink. But I keep stink. Hold on. It's still plays that he missed. You that can't say it, somebody stink when you're not hitting them with the ball. Exactly. You know why I can say stop because they the, slow as crap. Was, nobody gets open. Nobody wins any one on one bad. Which almost reminds me of McNabb, the, as many low balls as these throw. Like, come on, man, stop. To, to me, the receivers are. We have. We have very. Average mid level receiver for the most part. The only thing we, we actually bust. really have, the only, thing we, be a bust. the only thing we really have good, to be told, is we got two good tight ends. The Bull Rogers and Goddard, they're, they're ballers to me. I agree. They're top, they're top tier tight ends in the league. The receivers, Fogum and, and, and Ward and, and the rest of them dudes, they're, they're mid level receivers. They're, they're a number three. Most of them are number threes on any team in the NFL at, at very best, be honest with you. Fogum at might best. be number two. I think Fogum, if, if as he matures, he might get higher. But honestly, that they are what they are. They are yeah. what they are. They not they not making those spectacular catches. They not catching and gaining extra yards. Nobody. I saw AJ Brown catch a slant yesterday for 15 yards and took a 69 yards to the house. Like we not we don't have nobody like that. This this is the fact. So it is true that Wentz has to be more precise. But at the same time, there are plays that he can make, and we not seeing it made. That, that's I the agree. thing that's getting I, me. I, but I, but. This is my point. I've been saying that all season. I've been saying that all season. I said that from the beginning that it's certain plays that's not being made. But Roseman. I also, I Howie also Roseman was making got exposed the most. Huh? Oh, but now have I not been making that? Remember, I was getting fussed at because I was saying I was hating on Carson when I was saying this from game one. But my thing is, I'm looking at this receiving core. The receiving core is trash. I know Will Spencer talking about some he not hitting the receivers, but I do see like like the play that uh, that Ephraim talked about. He threw it to the right spot. The receiver wasn't. This team is in disarray. Yeah. And I've that, seen that, plays. I see plays where it's like it it, it, it it's like all right, put it right on the dude. You put it right on him. It get broke up because he don't got no space. Okay, lead him to the ball. Now you lead him and it's overthrown. Oh, the guy reaching like he can't get to it. It's too many times <laughs> I'm seeing that when I, mean, I see these listen, other players I, on other teams I, I fighting agree. for the ball, but, but, like they fighting for their life. See, see, I agree with that. I agree. This I, is I, 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 it's a lot I agree with. with this, this is my thing. When you when you make plays that need to be made, right? It changes the other defense because now they got to look for these plays. And what it does is it helps the other players on the team. If he hit, you got to understand, if he hit Goddard for those seams down the middle, now what it does is it makes the defense have to watch that. The safety has to watch that. He's not he, he's not playing over top of the corner. So so it, it, it leaves dudes in one-on-one -on -one a little more. So it opens up different stuff. This is why you got to make one -on -one these one-on-one don't mean nothing with these receivers. We see it every week. That's my We're problem. And I agree with you. Though. I agree. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think from uh, Ethan, I agree with you wholeheartedly. He got to hit any passes. He got to hit that. Yo, but can we talk a little is, bit about the bull Miles Sanders though? Because the bull Miles he, he, Sanders. What's up with him? Can his he catch? Hands, 
need lame. to go to rehab because something wrong. He, he, something he, he was trying to catch the wrong. ball like this. So what, he got like he four. Doing? He got like four drops in the. Like he just keep dropping. Three He's weeks. not helping nobody. He's not. He was. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? He not. This boy retarded. It almost looked like it almost looked like he's catching it and throwing it to the ground. Like, it, 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 have we like, ever seen <laughs> any receiver on this on, on, in this in this rotation just maul somebody one on one? I've seen, seen Fogel do it once once or twice. Once, yeah, it's like, it's like a unicorn, right? It's only like, it's like, only Fogel, Fogel and, and Goddard. And Goddard to do it too. And Goddard. I mean, the honestly, I got. I think the two best dudes on our team, for real, for real, is Rodgers and Goddard. Is our tight end? They the two best. Why God? For some reason, for some reason, Rodgers always gets open. He, he gets does. open all the time. I don't know if they leave him open out of disrespect or he just runs his route <laughs> so well. But he get open, and 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 that's what frustrated about that play earlier when Wentz threw it behind him. He got. He made the right decision. Yeah. And Wentz, Wentz made the wrong one. And then, you know, obviously, Sainz went to learn, and then the later play he made. But to me, it's like, dog, you you too far in to be making these little teeny mistakes that a veteran quarterback, you're a veteran now. I agree. Shouldn't be making. Like, it's, it's, it's overly frustrating. That's why I think either, the truth be told, Emo said it before, and I was saying it too at the same time, he should have said him early when he was making some of these mistakes to really let him know you going to be held accountable for these. He should have benched him for a, for a possession, for a quarter, for a half, maybe even for a game, something. He should have said, when you need to trade him. You're going to be accountable for that. I, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all this. If, if y'all watch the play, remember the, remember the fourth down when he bat, when he got the ball batted down? Mm-hmm. If you watch the pre-snap, Wentz looked to that left side about three times before he even snapped the ball. Like, is, is he giving away tells and stuff? Like, what is he doing? It was almost like the defense Possibly. knew where he was going. Them dudes watch are you are you talking about are you talking about the screenplay that the announcer said it was no, 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 no. the fourth down that got the, the screenplay that was supposed to go to Boston Scott, but he didn't run to the right spot. So it was no, like no, nobody no. for no. to no, the one before <laughs> no. the fourth. Oh, 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 the play before that. Oh, okay. No, he took either down. T- Oh, you mean to play before the fourth down when Boston Scott didn't run out to? This, oh yeah, this is what I'm, good, and this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm holding Wins accountable. I I I am. And, and I do want to see what Jalen Hurts is. See, Tim, you just want me to put everything on Wentz. And it's not. It's This is my point. This team is trash. This, this is a is whole – well. it's deeper than just the quarterback. But it's, it's the deeper. quarterback – It ain't the quarterback. It's the team. It's the, the team nah, is the, bad, listen, but the quarterback, quarterback is worse. A quarterback, quarterback can make a worse. whole the lot of things. The, the quarterback is all equally bad. You got to understand that a good quarterback can cover up a lot of stuff. Look what Russell Wilson's covering up. Exactly. Yeah. That offensive line that he's playing on. So what, and, what, and what kind of receivers Russell Wilson got again? Well, for he his, got one. And what, and what kind one. of running backs do Russell Wilson have again? Trash. You know, this they're is, trash. They're not trash. This is the whole yeah, point they, that I'm making. They're not good. This is the whole Russell point Wilson leads the team in rushing. This is the whole point <laughs> that I'm making where Boy. you still have to put talent around dudes. You still got to put some talent. We, the he, Eagles didn't let themselves. Carson be Wentz has all two kind of good tight ends and three of when Ertz is there. Who, wait, who, who, the, who the real good tight ends, Tim? On our team? Yeah, because the one dude is okay. He's a journeyman. The dude Goddard doing like twenty not, teams. Goddard's not good. Oh, Goddard is, but the other dude's a journeyman. Who, He's Roger, a journeyman. It, it doesn't matter if you're a journeyman if you balling, you balling. So who, okay, okay. So he's Roger's a journeyman. Balling. He's a journeyman and he's balling. So who's helping him to ball now? Shut up. So that's what I'm saying. You can't <laughs> sit there and talk about how trash the quarterback right. is, but this journeyman is having a great, a, a good season. So why is he still turning? Carson wants to turn the ball over. That That's why That's why we can't ball out. That's why we messing up, because Carson Wentz is guaranteeing yeah, you a stop. turnover see, per game. See, but I still, see that's, this is where I, 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 got, I come to Wentz's defense a little bit. I can't. That t- t- tonight, I, and I've been very vocal about how bad he's been playing. That turnover tonight wasn't his fault. That was a bad read by Goddard. That's the option route that you have. And, and, and then the, the wide receiver at tight end reads the defense and, and moves accordingly. Goddard ran back in the coverage and went through it away from the coverage where Goddard should have been. And it was a pick. So, I mean, it's stuff like that that, I mean, I, I don't want to fight like I'm excusing Wentz because I, I've been vocal about him, you know, his 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 inadequacies. But at the same time, I'm going to call it for what I call it. That That's turnover tonight was not his fault. Now, this, However, this, you know this why, week, what I will know, say is I'm going to give a little. Why I'm gonna say it's, you know why I'm going to say it's Wentz's fault? Because he should have never threw it to him. He had 
Rodgers underneath wide open for the first down. I mean, my he thing is never threw it to no, God. I hear I hear you with that, but once you lock in, stuff is happening so fast. Stop locking in. Once you once you, I mean, for the most part, you at some point you're going you're gonna have to lock in a receiver because stuff is happening so fast. You're gonna have to lock in one dude. And if he wins, he wins. Got it one. It would have been a first down. And honestly, you, I hear what you're saying about about Rodgers, but got it kind of would have been wide open. If he would have cut to the outside, it would have been an easy pitch and catch. It was right there. But how, however, after that, Wentz, Wentz is what he is. He's, he's, he's regressed to a point where I think you got to sit him. And Lewis Riddick, Lewis Riddick said the same thing I said about two weeks ago. And man, Ethan was in the greens. Now is the time to put Jalen Hurts in. Your season is over. It, you might as well put Jalen Hurts in to see what he minutes. has. You might as well. They said at this point, at okay, one point but in the when, when Jalen Hurts come in here, I don't want to hear people like Tim Thomas. Well, he don't got receivers in the offensive line. Now, but I don't want to hear that. I, I agree. I, and you then, ain't going to hear that. The, because I agree. I, I do. You know, at this point in time, even for Wentz, and, I, and as a person, I like Wentz. But I, this is my team, and put Hurts in there. And I hope Hurts – I'm not – see, I'm not like Tim, whereas though you wish for your quarterback to do bad. I was wishing for Wentz <laughs> to be successful. No, you wasn't. Shut up. No, we all know up. better no, than that. No, you wasn't. No, so if, if Jalen Hurts is in there, I'm rooting for Jalen Hurts. And, and, and trade Wentz. And, and hopefully we can have some kind of – get Wentz out of here and get something, even though Howie ain't going to draft nobody. But uh, hopefully we can make some kind of move. Hopefully Jalen Hurts is the you, answer. You have to get – you brought Howie up. You have to get Howie out of here. Howie – he is not allowed to play with the team anymore. This ain't Madden. He can't play with the. This dude yeah. been playing with the team for the last five six years, and look Let's what happened. Him you can't the play contracts. football. Let him do contract negotiations. For the I don't even want him doing that. He's not a football guy. He's not. He's not. I agree. I mean, I they, got they, they got who, the scales. Wait, who, who the guy? Who the guy that that we drafted Rieger instead of who? You drafted Rieger instead of Je- Jefferson. Oh, okay, okay. And, and we drafted JJ instead of who? DK Metcalf. DK. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I just, I, I mean, sometimes I forget. I just need to be reminded. No, what, I, what Hayes is that we had three opportunities to draft DK. Three. Tim, co-host of... me. Give me we that did. co-host. No, I we agree. Did. That, that's what. Uh, listen, it was no way. Yes, he did. Uh, Brandon just said Louis Riddick didn't say put her ten. Yes, he did. He said you said you might as well see what you got with the young boy. I could, I could rewind. I can turn it on now and. Uh, and polo it to you, Brandon, if you're still listening. He said you might as well go with the young bull, or he said that should, that's there should be an option for you. First and of all, you, to go, you, him and uh, to, Brian Greasy said it. I do want to give a little bit up. of love to the bull to that defense, though, because like Rodney McLeod was balling, and um, defense did good. good. Defense, defense did good. I don't got no rap. They, was, they was hitting. Them bulls was hitting, too. They, they did good. I, I, I still think, like I said at the beginning, I don't know why we didn't keep uh, Howard. We couldn't. We should have re-signed him or another running back. Why we stick to go for a small running back? I told y'all, Miles Sanders is small in frame, so he can't really take the beating of a 16 game season. The ball. Which one y'all was hyping him up though in the beginning? Who? That was Wayne. I never hyped him up. No, my listen. I, I mean, Miles Sanders. Wait, first yeah. of all, Miles Sanders was third and third and carry yards per carry coming into the game. So yeah, number I'm, one. Was get back. You, yeah, guess <laughs> what? And you, was Boston Boston Scott. What, Boston, you said Boston Scott was a better running back. What is Boston Scott? Damn, you <laughs> what is Boston Scott? <laughs> what is Boston Scott? <laughs> he got pinballed tonight. I tell you that exactly. But he you said Boston Scott was a better field. running back than Miles. Boston scotted him all over the field. Yeah, Adams laid the wood that on Scott. But you know, didn't he? You know what, what, what happened? To, his jersey came off. He hit him so hard. <laughs> what, what happened? To, what happened to Huntley though? What happened to him? Is he here? I, see this? He off the team. They resigned the boy. Um, they signed. Is he the going? Ball. They released Huntley. Yeah, they signed somebody. But see this is now Ephraim. See, see this. Howard. This is why. This is why. And I like I said. Dumb stuff. Like I said. This dudes ain't good. Came, this Huntley, what I'm saying. You don't even know. Huntley came in looking like he explosive, and then all of a sudden you take him out the game and you never played him again. Go ahead, Wayne. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying. This is why I'm saying I do blame. When I've been blaming Wentz all season for all the things that we've been saying about him missing plays. I've said that from game one. Mm-hmm. But the more I look at this team, I was putting a lot of that stuff on Wentz. The more I look at this, this team is horrible. It's hard to be coached. How you don't leave Jalen? Jalen Hurts got a little rhythm going on. He got a first time. He threw, got Al shot in the game. He zipped it the first time. Let him run a couple plays. Let I him agree. do a series. See what happens. We don't get him right so, out. So, hold you on. Remember old. all the hype Tim was sending us about Jalen get more snaps? Jalen. Yes. How many, how many actual plays did Jalen get? Two? 
The and, organization uh, is in disarray. I, I think a lot of that. I agree. But I was, I, I, was lot, I was sold a bill of goods like a, it was horrible. I think a lot of that was true though. I do think a lot of that was true. Doug is so stubborn. Yeah. He's so stubborn that he don't feel that. I think he going he going to live and die with Carson at this. He point. like a white. I don't nah, like I think, he. Nah, like, I don't think he is. Like he. I, I, I mean, at least at, at least I think I'm telling you, it's going to have to be pressure from probably from organization or maybe even have him at this point saying it's over. But I don't think he feel if everybody's saying do it, he feels I'm not going to do it because everybody's saying do it. I'm gonna do it when I'm ready to do it. I, I think that's his mindset. But when he like, I agree with Wayne, when he put Hurts in and Hurts completed, it wasn't the first. I think he got like it was it'd have been like third and four or third and three. Yeah. And keep him in. See, let him run. But it was a money back. pass. He it dropped was. that, he dropped back, and he's they they was overplaying him to run. So yep. the defense came up and ran up on it, but he read it real quick, got rid of it. Get get let's see. Because coming back after that, the defense probably would have made adjustments and, and wouldn't have just all been up there. Then they might have to fall back and play. But then you let the young you see what the young boy got. I, the I Eagles it. right now are just they close this how they this how they playing every week. Yeah, right stuff now, the board, the blind. Board, I, I right gotta, now, and I will go all in for um for the boy Eric B enemy and let Doug go at the end of the season. But they not going to. That's why I said the Super Bowl win might have been the worst thing with us. It, it I mean, it's not the worst thing because we won a Super Bowl, but the, it caused this organization to feel like well we won one. We won it. Let's stick with this. We won with how we going and making, uh, uh, picking up roster moves in the middle with how we drafting the whack drafts that he did, going and picking up these has bens, and we won like that. It was a fluke win. I, I'll, I'll, I'll no, take well, it. The quarterback was, was playing very because the good. quarterback was trash too. That's how much fluky he uh, was. The quarterback was playing I'm, well. I'm not gonna say Tim, that. where's Nick Foles at right now? No, I'm talking about Wentz. Shut up. No, no. I'm talking because, about Wentz. No, no, you ain't. You Wentz was playing team. well, put us in a position to win the Super Bowl. Uh, Notice I mean, Wentz is thinking it up, and that's why we're in a position to get uh, it was, We it also have you know, Frank about the if you, if you notice, my, my opinion on, if you notice our run game, really, we don't really go to the run game because we're not built to run the football with the running backs that we have. That's why they they brought the boy Howard back. The way our running backs are built, they're not built to pound the football. But I don't necessarily think I think we're not built with the line to run. The, the you, running backs aren't run. either. No, no, that's either. not. I, but only reason only reason I'll disagree with you on this. Our, our our running backs when we was running the ball like that, you had Jason Peters who was not what he is now. You had Lane Johnson. You had Brooks, and you had and you had uh uh the um. The, the the center when it went a couple years younger we had when our running game was working like that we had a good line you, but you gotta understand they're not downhill runners like the ball that's why they but brought out that's why we succeeded if you remember last year we succeeded pound the ball at the end of the game because you have a downhill low your shoulder 220 15 pound back in howard that will go downhill and get those yards and none was of the running backs was none Lane of them you, last year, Lane Johnson's not a running back. You talking about last year or the year before last? I'm talking about last year, near the end of the last year. Last year, Miles Sanders on. was the one that was running the ball for him the most. Nah, they got remember no, they no, did. No, no, no. Miles Sanders on. came on in the second half of the year. That's why they was talking about him as possibly being MVP type. But he, remember, he got hurt. He kept getting Sanders. hurt. And this is what I said about Miles Sanders. He kept getting hurt at we the end of the year. Yeah, remember that's when Boston Scott came in the New York games and stuff because he was hurt. Yeah, he kept getting nicked up. I, I mean, I don't but think... That, but 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 when when was Jordan Howard there running? You saying Howard, they was bringing Howard in at the end of the season. When was that? Howard was hurt at the end of the season. He came back. Howard is a downhill running back. Their yeah. running back that they was featuring was... Which one of our running backs is a downhill running back? No. Yeah, but, but you're saying, but you're saying that they had this great running game because of Howard. Howard wasn't their primary back. That was when they was He winning. was in the beginning. And they wasn't winning. Yeah, we and like you said, down the stretch of the season, we when, they were, more, last year. when they were running better, it was with Miles Sanders. No, I, Howard was averaging like almost five yards a carry, I think, at the beginning. Miles of the year. Sanders would get, if you notice, Miles Sanders was getting, remember, he got like two runs against Washington on third and 10, and they hand it off and he shoot around the corner and be okay, out. Okay, and then, and how, and, and Howard got, did Howard get hurt last year? Or, or he was a, yeah, he had or, a he was, or, or he was this big downhill back that lasted he, all season. He, he is a downhill back, but though. Did he, he get had, injured. Listen, the thing is, we have, no, 
The thing is, we have no downhill I guess, I guess back. We're not gonna answer that, huh? We have no, I said it already. We have no downhill back. These dudes, you know, this was, was, was our third straight game that we didn't score at all in the first quarter. My my thing, I know. My see, my thing is I, I don't and go, going back to Wayne comment real quick. I don't think the Super Bowl was a fluke. I think the Super Bowl was a testament to the power of coaching. That's what it was. We had a good coaching staff. We have Frank Reich in here. We had the other dude who was the quarterback coach. I can't remember, I can't remember who, uh, Filippo. We had two dudes in here who knew how to get the best out of quarterbacks. And, and watching the Colts, I am And we had Nicky totally, Foles. No, no, for, calm down. I'm totally convinced. Foles. I'm totally <laughs> convinced that Frank Wright was indeed the genius and the architect behind what happened. Because okay. I see I, I, watching I, I, the Colts what happened. So my thing is, my wait, wait, thing is, wait, you was watching the Colts what happened yesterday? Huh? I've been watching the Colts every day. Yeah, and they've been scoring points. They've been scoring points. The fact, forget the, do you, what, do you say that they, they lost because of what? No, the, no, I'm not. I'm, the I'm defense trolling. gave it I'm up. Trolling. The, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. The Colts have been scoring <laughs> points. The offense has looked no, very I agree effective. With you. Very effective. And, and this is what I'm saying is what we had going in the year before the defense played good enough for us to win, or the Super Bowl year rather, the defense played good enough for us to win and the offense was rolling. And that was because we were coached tremendously well. The uh, last couple of years, not so much. Guess what? Well, we one of the how things well that we missed. Wayne, let me get in. Greeting. Let me chit chit. Wentz. With the, mic. the ball, Carson Wentz, his play. The reason why, I, before I was blaming everything on Carson Wentz, I'm not going to do it. There is a flaw in what, what the coach is doing this year. It's clearly a flaw because he's not rolling that quarterback out. And the, if you notice in this game, Seattle has designed plays for Russell Wilson to roll out. And he he's so much accurate when he do roll out the pocket. Yeah. But we literally waited. Quarter number one didn't do it. Quarter number two. Then towards the end of, I think, quarter number two or the beginning of quarter number three, we start doing it. It's like if you know the strengths of your quarterback – is not to be in a pocket and to do an up tempo offense. Why aren't you doing it at the start of the game? That makes no sense. Offense killed us to the start of that game. Totally killed us to start of that game. Wednesday, in the, in the start of the game, was, was it drop passes in that first possession? Yeah, the one drop they had three time. straight possessions. They, they passed three straight times in the first series. Right. And what happened on those passes? Where they one got was bad a, passes? I think one of them was a drop. I think the Rodgers pass was kind of a bad pass. Dude was right, like right there. He was right there. Fortunately, he didn't throw a pick. Who? What part you talk? What play you talking? He talking about the first series. The first series, the Rodgers John. Even though Jeffrey should have caught that, but Rodgers one was close though. I don't really blame Rodgers for that too much. Oh yeah, I missed that one. I think by the time I turned the game on, I was th- I turned it on with the Jeffrey's drop. But I don't think Rieger. <laughs> I, I think Rieger is a miss in the draft. Compared to what Justin Jefferson is doing in Minnesota. Oh yeah, definitely. I, you think? <laughs> yeah, how do you? Somebody explain this to me, right? How do you pick a dude for speed when Jefferson actually ran a faster forty than Rieger, but you go to Rieger this, and Jefferson is actually this, like this an is, inch or two taller than Rieger, but you this, pick Rieger? Like what? What? What is that, your thinking here? That was my whole. There was no thinking. That was my old argument with DK and JJ. DK was stronger than JJ. He jumped higher. He was taller. He was bigger, and he was faster. And you go get JJ. Like I don't. They, Wait, they, like, you I, know why it's, it's so funny though? <laughs> because their whole thing was DK Metcalf doesn't run routes well. But J- and what the heck does JJ do? That's my thing. Like if you watch, I actually went back and watched. How about you take the talent and you coach them up? The, Did the he get in the game today? See, I, no, I don't think no, so. he, he he's he's inactive. You need talent to coach. See, my thing, my you thing can't is, coach anybody. You can't put is, him out there to run around. I think see, my thing is, my thing is, I understand it's it, just to hit on DK real fast. I understand the draft, you gotta analyze everything because I know he had an injury and they was concerned yeah. about you know him the getting neck injury again and something like that. Yeah. So but my thing is you got you do have to evaluate several things. We talking about a player like that. For one, he's young. Very, very muscular condition, workaholic type dude. The ch- it was so many players injured. We drafted had three we picks. We, we drafted, we drafted, uh, Cindy Jones. we drafted, yeah, Cindy exactly. Jones. I, I, bro, that's what I was waiting. That's what I'm Cindy, here, like, Jones. Don't tell me about injuries when we drafted yeah, Cindy like, Jones. But he, he could have actually pinned out this year if you would have kept true. me. 
But we draft. I mean, we drafted a number of players with injuries and all kinds of stuff and we, like and that. And we and we signed them too. We signed our sign with injuries. We but signed he, Deshaun with injuries. I, I I agree. And my thing is with JJ though. I watched this dude highlights. He had the most underwhelming highlights I've ever seen. His highlight. He couldn't. He wasn't. He wasn't even burning dudes in college. Like this is this is college. This is the, if, if anywhere you should be getting advantage over dudes, it should be college. He wasn't even doing that. He had a couple plays where he jumped ball a couple cats. It's like, all right, that's cool, but he, I want to see you create separation with no separation on most of his. On he most didn't his come to the combine because he didn't want to get exposed. Uh, yeah. Do we have any speed on this team? I no. keep hearing how. I, but remember, I said this a few weeks ago. Sanders. I said it. I've been said that. No, I said no. We got no playmakers. No, no. I didn't say playmakers. I said you remember, speed. I, I said I that at the very beginning of the year. And when, when I said speed, you was like, Rico's supposed to be bad, but that's my whole point. We got a bunch of dudes that's supposed to be. Miles Sanders supposed. They always tell me how fast Miles is. I don't see it. My, because he don't catch the ball. You got to be able to catch the ball. <laughs> if he ain't catch even, the ball in space. Listen. But it's not even But it's not even just about that. Like, even yeah, because if you, if you he, no, even Miles on the running plays, even, even on the running plays, if you watch the running plays when Miles said, remember when Shady used to get out. And he made. He Don't even mention him. I'm, Don't I'm mention him together. I'm mentioning it because I'm talking about stage. the speed. I'm talking about the speed. When you get in that, when them them speedy backs, them backs that got speed, when they get in that opening, they hit that next gear, and you ain't catching them. I see Miles Sanders get, and I like Miles, but I see too many times he gets caught from behind and brought down. I, and this oh, whole team. Now you, see what I, now you see what I'm saying. No, no. You were saying about him not being tough enough because Boston Scott no. was a better running what, back. What I said, so don't, I said, so don't, I don't want to hear you talking. Hold on. on. Well, we we said, Ephraim you, could, Ephraim, you could attest to this. Remember we said Miles Sanders don't break no tackles? Remember yeah. that was our knock on him? Uh, yep. But he's breaking tackles now. He's broke tackles. He just I, 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 I know I see him break one tackle one-on-one -on -one catching the ball on, on a linebacker. He gets tackled every time. What? He, what? He do. He do. You do get tackled. So, so, so you're talking about catch. I'm talking about running the ball. So you don't see him. Yeah, you if see you him? run, if you catch your ball, first of all, he needs to catch the ball. And you have a linebacker and you run and you catch it. He don't get away. So don't tell me he can't break tackles. That That's something different. That's breakaway speed. That's not breaking tackles. That's breakaway speed, which is what I'm talking about. It's both. He's it's not both. both. It's, it's breakaway both. speed. Because he don't break the tackle. Get, that means when you get a step on the ball, you out. He's not going to catch you. No, but breaking but... the tackle means ball stop you at the spot and you break. And no, you like if a ball smack his ankle, yards. he going down. Ankle smack. Oh. He dead. He all over the, yep. What, like he Boston up. Scott? No. Yo, do y'all think? No, you y'all think? Y'all think? I think Jalen Hurts going to get the start next week. Y'all think Jalen Y'all think Jalen Hurts going to get the start next week? I don't even care. He should, but I don't. I don't care what this team. But does. see, my my thing with Jalen Hurts though, even if he gets to start, uh, all he's really if if he if he's successful, he's gonna be successful based off of him just being athletic, yeah, and being I good. Agree. Because I still I still question Doug. Honestly, I, I'm questioning this whole offense, the play calling, the scheming. I'm questioning it all at this point. No, but I gotta could, see it first before I'm gonna sit here. No, cool. I, 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 I agree. With I say you. he won't. I it's need to, to see question. what he looks like because I've seen Listen, Doug be successful please. with another quarterback. No, I, I, and, and, and with another offensive coordinator. Yes, I did too. No, that offensive coordinator was gone when, when he had the second time around. What, what you mean the almost... second time around? How great was Nick Foles? We went, we went through Nick Foles' stats. You try when, with the triple doink when we won that game and then when Nick Foles threw the interception. I'm bringing up old stuff. That's he what did, I'm saying. So don't talk two about. Picks against, he threw two picks against the Saints in that game to me. It wasn't, it wasn't that Yeah, great. so stop making it. Was, it, like... it was a pretty solid game up until that point. <laughs> It was okay. Up until both okay. interceptions, it was a solid game. It was, it was okay. But, I mean. So, uh, my, so other than assassination, Mr. Lincoln, how was the play? I was there. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Enough. But, I mean, I agree with you. I'm cool with seeing Jalen. And I agree with Ethan. It was plays to be made and he not hitting them. But we want to see if Jalen can hit him if how he pulls the trigger. But now is the time to pull the trigger. Now, now, the now is the time. I agree. Can't wait no Next more. Next week, Green Bay. I want to see Jalen Hurts lining up under, under center, man. And then did, I never home. knew. First of all, I knew he was suspect. They said Brett Favre was his favorite quarterback growing up. I heard in the telecast today. Yeah, who favorite, who's favorite quarterback? Wentz. Is he yeah. even old enough to watch watch Brett Favre play? Yeah, like like Brett Favre game. being played for fifty years. Yeah, Brett Favre. He probably see. Like, what did he see, see to tell? He retired like three years career? ago. I, don't I mean, know, probably. He, he's still like, he you know, he probably, I mean, just like, you know, you he probably heard of the, of the, of the greatness. And oh, yeah, he from that area. He from that area, though. He from, you probably, you like Dan Marino. You was like, what, three when Dan Marino was playing? I, what? 
Yeah, that's only that. listen. You you gotta understand. <laughs> I, I'm a football savant. So what? What make you think that he ain't? <laughs> but why? Why? Like it. But why'd you? Oh, why? Why'd you bring up that though? Like you were saying that in reference to what? No. You know, talking about Wentz? Yeah, Ethan. Why'd you bring up him like a far? No, t- Tim, Tim brought that up. up. No, I brought that up only because they made they made that announcement in the telecast. When y'all was talking about the Packers, I was like, oh yeah, they said that. Hold on, yo, hold on. Did y'all? I gotta find it. Who heard about what um, Deuce Staley said at? Oh, I gotta bring this guy something. What do you say? What do you say something about uh, uh, Miles Sanders? He He gave a quote. He said something about um, the coach calling plays. See if I can find a quote. Yeah, you go. You should have came in with that ready. Cause I'm sure he didn't say it during the game. <laughs> Come on, man. He said it before the game. He said it before the game. Now, exactly. Least, uh, you you this, had this all 50, game and had that ready. If I'm gonna put any blame, fifty percent goes toward Doug, and fifty percent goes on Wentz. I'm out. Uh, I, I actually, I, I might even put a little bit more on it than on Wentz than that this game. Me too. I might put, I might put about 65 percent on Wentz because, oh. and I say that my, I, I, I want to hear your reasoning, Tim. But my reason, my reason. Oh, go ahead. My reasoning was it was plays to be made and he didn't make the ones that was there to be made. So that tells me that the play that was called was a good play. And my, my reasoning is beyond is the fact that them, the the rollouts, the, the, t- the up-temple offense, that should have been called that. right away. That should have been part of the, you know how that. they usually script their first team um, plays. That should have been in the game plan immediately. And I it wasn't. That. So that's why I said Doug got to eat that one. Now, now, let me I, let me address this Cowboys fan that want to talk so much like he knows so much about the Eagles. Uh, Will, um, Spencer, first of all, the offense did, wasn't fine every time Foles came in the game. Did you not see the Atlanta game when we couldn't move the ball and couldn't score for nothing, but the defense made some plays, and then at the end of the game, they, they made a play to stop uh, Julio Jalen Mills. Catching Jalen, Jalen Mills so so, so don't even – and even in the Minnesota game, because we've all had this conversation, even in the Minnesota game – that game got jump started by I think it was Patrick Peterson with the pick. It was somebody on, with a pick that and that kick started. The, so it wasn't like Dick Foles was coming in just willing and dealing every time. Now, the Super Bowl, he balled out. They, I can't take nothing from him from that. But Nick Foles wasn't this great. Nick Foles against the Raiders, he wasn't balling out against the Giants going into the playoffs. He wasn't balling out. He so won stop hyping Nick Foles. He's he was a winner. I mean, and, and even and the winner, I, where was he, was he winning now? Tell him yes, to win a hot dog stand. He, he just lost his job to Mitch, Mitch and, Trubisky. And, my, my and, thing, and you saw even, what he did yesterday, didn't you? And even, and even with the Super Trubisky. Bowl, I'm not, I'm not and this is not to up. discredit Foles, but the Super Bowl Bulls, Bulls, Bulls lost played. his job to that dude that stunk it up. He was he hurt. No, he got he hurt. Got injured. He got hurt. He got hurt. Even, he, got, he, he got hurt in Jacksonville too, didn't he? Even, he, <laughs> even in this, even in the Super Bowl, boys made and, plays. And in and, and St. Louis with the Rams, he got hurt. I mean, remember, remember the remember the catch by Clement that was almost ruled an incomplete pass, and they kind of yeah. let him let him have it. Like Bulls made great plays for, for the ball. Now, he put it on the dime. I'm not hating Foles, but it, it do take receivers and dudes to make great plays. And he and he had you know everybody balling. But like I said, I I, I mean. It, it was, it's become more evident to me that Frank Wright was the true architect and genius behind his whole thing. Or, he got the coach offense. but was, was or, Wentz or was that Wentz, Wentz stinks and he's getting they finally getting exposed? Was Wentz was Wentz having more? I was about to ask the question: Was Wentz hitting people more on first reads? And he didn't have to look like he does now. Was it? You know what I mean? Because I don't ever Wentz had a when he had thirty three and seven, but I don't remember him having. Tough but, throws. Well, you know, you know what I mean. You know, you know, one thing it was the point when when they well, one thing that they had <laughs> that they don't have now is oh, actual no, speed. Dog. It's actually a speed receiver that can open up down the field. If yeah, they did because we, we can say we went about Tory Smith, but Tory Smith was burning dudes deep and went he got lost he got that joint down there, and it opened everything up. That's He's true. Faster than Rigger. And, and, and who do we got now that opens up everything underneath? Who who do we got, we got now? Sean Jackson, who's in a wheelchair right now. He, they, uh, they other other than around. the one game with Deshaun Jackson, has he ever shown? And guess what? The one game when he had Deshaun Jackson. How many games did Deshaun Jackson play in two years? I told you, I don't care. That's how we. I'm okay with what he's doing. <laughs> the way remember they, they went him, to. Remember he they played less play. games he than his two. jersey number. <laughs> he played less games than his jersey number. I'm okay with that. 
in two years, I'm not okay with that. I'm Rob not. them like they tried to ruin his reputation. No, listen, listen. I'm good. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm good with him getting paid because he'd have got paid whether he played or not. I'm not good with him not playing. I want my team to win, and he makes it more. He makes our team more successful. More he gives dynamic. us a better chance to win. I know that was I'm a cheap cool shot, though. Playing. That was just such a cheap shot when, when he when he got injured. Yo, what? It was. But see, that's the other part of this. Remember, and if we remember what I said, the first, my biggest gripe the first couple weeks of the season was Lane Johnson wasn't playing and Miles Sanders wasn't playing because to me, the Eagles have it in their mindset. Oh, we'll turn it on when we need to turn it on. This, this is why I'm saying certain stuff about the organization. This is their approach. They really have this approach that that they're good. We won the chip before. When the chips is down, we bounce back and we come back. You can't just turn it on. I want y'all to go be on go from the jump. And they let, and let they're me, not that they not like that. Let me ask y'all, do y'all think they could turn around in a year or is this like a two, three year process that we who the GM? Through? Who's drafting? E- even with a new dream, e- I mean you can only draft with so many people. Well, you I could mean, turn football around, you could turn around in a hot second. I think you turn around fast. I, I think our defense, our defense pretty we got actually one thing we did do, I think we nice gotta upgrade was, that D line. The D line has been upgraded. Line but I think been the solid, over, though. I think the overall. I, I think the D line getting a little older. I think you want to go. I mean, we got sweat. We got sink. The dudes we got for real, for real, in, in key defensive positions are young and they playing well. Duke Riley is playing good. Um, I think McLeod and Mills actually is a nice, pretty solid one-two punch. I mean, could you get better? Yeah, possibly. But I, as I'm saying, I don't think as much you have to do to get the defense better. The offense. Now, now that is honestly where the most work needs you to got, be. Done. You got to build a whole offensive line. That's what I was about to say. We got to build the offensive line. You need and a left tackle, get, definitely. And you have to get a legit, legit wide receiver, a, a monster of a wide receiver. And we need and how, about, how, about, how about we get a right? How about we get a right tackle that don't got to juice up in order to play a whole season? Yeah. We need that. Again, I, I need to put more emphasis on the Seattle defense this season was averaging was giving up 434 yards again they said they was on pace for the third most in nfl history and carson Wentz couldn't do hold on hold on it. hold on hold on let let's who did they ask see a, a, a lot of stuff about who they played if you know their players they actually have players on that defense they have wagner they have adams they have griffin who's fast as i don't know what as a cornerback they have players on D. Now, who did they, I know they played Arizona? Did they play Arizona twice? I think so. So you trying, uh, you, you trying to see stop Adam? getting caught up. Sometimes you can't go in there getting caught up no, in numbers. Go, be like, hold no, on, you can't go in there bad. getting They've caught up. In, can, can I can I ask something real quick though? Since they since we're since, since since we're hyping up the Eagles defense now because they had a solid game today. How many turnovers they got this season? Now we can yeah, improve on that. Got, how many turnovers do we? How many? How many do? That's We're what I'm saying about, about even game. speed. We don't have speed nowhere on this team. Our cornerbacks aren't fast. They get that's that's even like and I, and I like Slay. I, I'm not saying Slay is trash or whatever, but he can't Slay. keep up with he can't keep up with the speed dudes like that. I mean, ain't nobody. How many corners are keeping up with DK? For real, like for real. This boy. Uh, I know. I know. Peter. What was it? Uh, Peters had him in his back pocket. No, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. He's a, he's a top five cornerback in the league. How many legit corners are really keeping up with DK? That's, that's like asking how many corners is keeping up with with uh with Cheetah. Like it is what it is. That's, that's, so 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 what so what receiver what receiver on our team would be saying who keeping up with him? No, no, that's, exactly. I said that. That's what I agree with that. See, I'm not disagreeing with you. Now that I agree, we need a monster receiver. Like I be saying, like I said earlier, everything is in perspective in Seattle's. They played the Cowboys when they had uh when they had Dak and they was putting up mad numbers with that offense. They played um well Dak don't play they, they played the Vikings and the Vikings got nice offensive weapons and a running back. They played the Cardinals twice, they played the Bills, they played the Rams. So let's Whoa. not get carried. But you away dapping up about, Dak, you was dapping up young Dak. Yeah, you dapping up, up young Dak. Numbers, <laughs> he, put, he put up numbers. I knew too was gonna show for that. They they first of all, they had weapons, they had weapons That's on true. offense. I mean um, that's true. I'm not, but at so the let's game, put it in perspective. But bro. no, let's uh, stop. perspective is still they are 32. That's perspective. They yeah. are still dead last. So I, I I understand they playing against dudes who ball, but if you better, you better. Like 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 Wayne just said, uh, which McCall is still locked up. Peterson still locked up uh, DK, and he did that. That car- that Arizona defense did a great job against DK Metcalf. So my thing yeah. is, if you good, you good. They not that good. 
That's and the, the Ram, fact. the Rams defense locked him up. What's the ball for the Rams again? Ramsey. He's good. You talk about superstar. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah. I mean, Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. He he locked him down too. No, yeah. I mean, he. That's what I'm saying. If you a baller, you a baller. The Seattle defense isn't that good. We should have put up more numbers than what we did. It, it, we should have. That's the fact. And and the, and the, the proof is in the pudding, Ethan, yep. because the plays were there. We talked about that. Slow Alshon got past the ball. That could have been a Alshon is probably the slowest receiver in the league. That could have been an easy pitch and catch touchdown for six. Well, what happened on that play? Wentz didn't even look his way. He threw, oh, okay. he threw like a dump ball pass. Or oh, something. gotcha. But he had Goddard. Goddard had Wagner beat twice. He missed both of them throws. So the, th- the throws was there for yards. That that them three plays right there is a hundred plus yards. You know what I'm saying? But he missed them. He, or right. or he didn't throw and them. That's, and I agree. All right, I got any final thoughts before we wrap but that's up? That's the assumption that those receivers was going to make them catches. All right. Yeah. We'd be, we'd be. I got I got confidence. Goddard would have made it. Now, yeah. And, and Alshon, Alshon got hands. I mean, he, he, <laughs> I mean, if he was well, ask Nick Foles about Alshon hands against the Saints. That that's different though. That, that's, that's different. Carson Wentz <laughs> about Alshon hands on that first throw. Yeah, exactly. Now, I, I was, a wide open catch. Alshon, I think more than likely gonna make that. How often do he behind. get wide open? That's my is, point. But he got wide open on that play. He, he had looking the ball for a like star two, from Jalen next like week against the Packers. And I think we'll be yeah, all right. I, I, think he I guess we just too. ain't take no calls today, huh? <laughs> no, nah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody really called. They ain't trying to yeah, call up and talk about this game. Everybody frustrated, man. Everybody went to bed. Dang, yeah, it's just all, it's all anti Eagle fans on there now. Just want to talk. Yeah, just yeah. spewing yeah. hate. <laughs> but listen, we'll be back on Thursday night, and we're gonna do a little, um, a little bit more recap of the game, and also give us our take on next week's hopefully, game. I ain't recapping Thursday nothing. Night. I'm talking all sixes Thursday. And we'll hopefully be talking Thursday sixes, night. They announced that Jalen Wentz is starting Sunday. Jalen hurts. Yeah, yeah, I, hurts, yeah, I think Jay, this is the, this is the time. But thanks, Packers, for- Saints, Cardinals, Cowboys. Woo-hoo. We not winning none of them games except the Cowboys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification button on YouTube, uh, yeah, nice. Spotify, we on Twitter, have- think, y'all. Facebook. Get the Three ground wins. Back. Three wins. All right, mm-hmm. y'all have a good night. All right, later. <laughs>